I'm Paula Hancock in Seoul and this is CNN. Hello, I'm Jonathan Mann, and this is CNN News Now. Israel says a soldier reported missing in Gaza was actually killed in combat. It had previously accused Hamas of capturing Lieutenant Hadar Golden. Earlier, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to continue what he called full-scale action against Hamas. He says the Gaza offensive will last until peace returns to Israel. Israeli shelling has killed dozens more Palestinians, raising the death toll in Gaza to more than 1,700. In an exclusive interview with CNN, a Hamas leader rejected Israel's account of the broken ceasefire. He says Hamas never agreed to allow Israeli forces to continue destroying tunnels. Okay. Investigators heard mortar fire, but they determined nearby fighting between Ukrainian forces and pro-Russia rebels didn't threaten their safety. And that's your CNN News Now. Join us again at the top of the hour for the very latest on the crisis in the Middle East. It is 7 p.m. in Washington, where President Obama is tackling strained relations between police and communities in the wake of the Ferguson protests. It's 8 a.m. in Hong Kong, where protesters are still camped out and a leading activist is trying a new strategy, a hunger strike. And 3 a.m. in Moscow, where the plunging price of oil is dragging the ruble down, putting new economic pressure on Vladimir Putin. Hello, everyone. I'm Michael Holmes. Hello, and I'm Linda Kincaid in for Emerald Walker. This is CNN Today.